It's just not doing it for me, me, but maybe it's doing it for you. Doing it and doing it and doing it, wow. Okay. Well, this is part of that nasty flooding left over from the storms that we've had. This area where I live floods. Oh golly, can I get through that? Oh golly. Well, everybody's doing it. I guess if I go over here, well, everybody's getting through it. Now, I guess this is the dumb thing to do. They don't have the road closed. <laughs> well, if you don't hear from me in three days, call the, call the lost and found. All right, hold your breath. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or not. Okay, I guess it's it looks worse than it is. Here we go. Ah! I do love seafood. Ooh, ooh, keep going, keep going. Don't stop now. And I had to take a detour to get to that. The main road to get through, the police had that blocked off. They didn't have that one. I figured, well, we gotta get the traffic out of here some way. Well, I'm in South Jersey not too far from Camden. This isn't the neighborhood that I live in. Uh, it's not too terribly far from it. Not too terribly far. Okay, woo, we made it. I'm actually in a place called Westville. It's, you know, one of these just little, old, little old South Jersey towns, nothing fancy, a little rough around the edges, but, um, you know, a lot of New Jersey is a little rough around the edges. And that's not being uh, pejorative. I'm proud of it. Yeah, Jersey tough, Jersey strong. Oh boy, I really like the colors on this. It's a clearly a piece that's either made in Japan, Czechoslovakia, Germany. And oh, look at that awful crack in the bottom of it. And it's made in Japan before the Second World War luster wear. I really like the colors on that. It's missing a lot of the luster from the center uh, from the three compartments. So I don't know. I guess if it were in really great shape, I might purchase it and keep it. I just really like those colors. I'm in a Goodwill. Surprise, surprise. No surprise there. And we're just doing a little, little shopping. That's a cute little thing. Now, are you old? You're probably not. You've got a circle on the bottom of you, which I can't see. You're probably not. Let's see. Well, you got a lot of wear on the bottom of you. Look at all that wear. Uh... No, I wonder if that's an oldie. Something about that piece is telling me that it's old. Now, I don't mean 1960 when I say old. <laughs> I mean, you know, 1920, 1930. I just don't know. Well, $5. I'm going to take a closer look at it. Uh, I might peel the paint, paint off of it. Peel the tape off of it and uh, just, I don't know, examine it a little bit closer. I'm not aware of anything new that's that, that is that particular shape. But then again, I don't go to uh, the, you know, the, the big box stores, whatever you call them. Home Goods, Marshalls, uh, Kirkland's is that one. Um, I just don't shop there. So I wouldn't know what was new. But there's a lot of stuff coming out of Japan, uh, not Japan, out of China, that's supposed to look, to fool you. 
I'm always, there's some Cape Cod. Those are nice, um, tall, big tall ones there. But I, of course, Cape Cod, you're gonna see that. You're gonna see that on every trip. Now let's see here. Oh, there comes a fresh cart. But I'm not gonna run over there like a wild animal. I'll go over there slowly. Nobody in the store is running, which is very nice. We don't have anybody lurking in here today. All right, I did turn my camera off when I went over there and there wasn't anything. Let's see, what are you? Oh, you're plastic. How did I get tricked into touching that? That's pretty. I can't use that, there's just one. Um, let's see here. Uh, what is this little EAPG guy? Oh, he's an unusual shape. Get out of there. Five dollars? Yeah. I don't know. It's four footed. That's not a rose bowl. And it's not a ferner. Ferner, unless it's just an unusual shaped one. I kind of like the pattern on it. Oh golly, all right, we'll think about that too. <laughs> Into the cart that goes. We'll give that a little think, think over. And this side don't look like much. As you can see, I had to, uh, the water is parted for me to get here. No, see, now normally I would not drive through something like that, but you could see that that's what the roads look like uh, two days after the storm, two days after the nor'easter, and that was good. I was on a detour because the other roads were so flooded. That's the road that the, uh, that the highway patrol wanted us to actually drive through. You could see it wasn't blocked off. So I, I do understand safety about driving through. You're not supposed to do that. But once again, just in case anybody was wondering, we actually had to drive through that way because as I said, that was a detour. And I saw the, the other road around the circle there on 130 was completely underwater. I mean, impassable. Impossible, impassable. So the way I went was the way I had to go today. Well, now that I'm the owner of a lovely antique roll top desk, how about this? Mm-hmm. I don't plan on having fountain pens, but that's a good place to put paper clips and this and that. Yeah, that's old. Ah, uh, four dollars. I think we'll have that. It might be. It might even be marked somewhere. Doesn't matter. In the cart it goes. I love it. Please enjoy this very high quality and beautiful piece of Bohemian glass. Probably Bohemian glass. Um, and. Uh, uh, leaded glass indeed it is ruby red flashed uh rather cut to clear i should say and we've got some gilded highlights there as well the grapes a wonderful uh, decanter for your favorite uh i guess adult beverage yeah no marks on it very very nice glass somewhere on the bottom not terribly old probably made sometime within the last 50 years you know, yeah, it's very nice. Look at these beautiful 1930s or 40s single, uh, I'm sorry, double light candlesticks. Uh, it's a pattern that I don't have memorized, so I don't know which company made it. I will look it up in my candlestick book. I certainly will. Let me double check them for any damage and then we'll toss them in the cart. I think those are very handsome. I think I'll buy this tall pattern glass creamer, which would date to the turn of the century. 
around 1900. It's in good condition. And the thrift store is asking $2 for it. I like it. Here's some stangled pottery. I think I will not purchase that. But I do want to turn you around for a moment and show you something. I was wondering how long it would take, and I think it was only a matter of time before somebody in the pricing room decided to test items with black lights. And I believe that's what they've done here. Because take a look, they want 20 bucks. Bye-bye, and it has a chip. Look at these beautiful plates, $8 each. Okay, that's great. If you're gonna take them home, I can't make any money off of that. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plates. Eight times eight, yep. And I don't even know if these have uranium in them or not. Sometimes you can tell very easily and sometimes you can't. I know that pattern, but again, in my mind right now, it's escaping me. $8 each on those plates. No, I can't do anything with it. So I think someone in the back saw Green Depression. Boy, they put a price on it. They sure did. What's eight times eight? You remember? <laughs> Too much. And now to add to my collection of Miss America by uh, Anchor Hawking is this wonderful divided dish here for serving at the table. And uh, this looks like the quality of Anchor Hawking rather than the English hobnail. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Hawking. So that goes in the cart. All right, there's a lot to be seen on these shelves right here, but I do like the color on this Dalton teapot, which uh, has got a lot of grease and dirt on the top, so I don't want to touch it any more than that. Um, we'll take a really good look at it after it's been completely cleaned. So that's going to go in the cart. We'll pass on this, which has a, a chip here at the top, but I'll let you see. It's a pretty piece made in Japan. And painted Nippon. So we've already gone over the way to date Nippon. We've talked about that a lot. I'll show you this later. And then over here, uh, there is another coffee pot. I don't need any more of these. This is a nice one. Um, and it's not it's not terribly expensive. I do always look inside to see if it has its electric cord. This one doesn't. And uh, I probably have five of these at home, so I really don't need to get another one of those today. And so I won't, but there's a lot to look at right here. And I'm going to keep looking. Now I know, you know, I can't talk about everything. I don't pick everything up. And oftentimes people say, you walked right by, you walked right by. Well, I walked right by a lot of stuff. I can't talk about everything. What is this? Is this an overnight set? It is. Not old, but that's cool how the glass goes down in there. Look at that Anchor Hawking pitcher back there, and there's some luster wear. And there's another cocktail shaker. And uh, we know what that is. Ooh, there's a lot to see. Okay, okay, now look here, good folk. I have never seen prices like this before. Are you kidding? I haven't yet gotten over $64 for those green plates over there. But uh, 30 bucks for that, 25 bucks for that. No way, good folk. I mean, you can even find 25 bucks. Yeah, I know what it is. Okay, big deal. But you can get it cheaper than that at, at sometimes even in antique stores, at least in my area. No, uh uh. This store is getting off the hook. Yeah, somebody back there has decided to change a little bit of their price. Well, let's see if it works for them. I don't know. I guess you're going to have to wait for these things to go on half price. Uh, and then, you know, you got to be at the front door the day that the color changes. Nah. All right, well, I love it, but 
Not for those prices, I don't love it. I really like this single milk glass, very tall boudoir lamp, but there's only one and I really look to find its mate. Couldn't find it. And that's unusual for me because I'm not a big milk glass fan, but I like it, I like it. It's a little bit older than the milk glass from the 1960s. This is that older formula milk glass here. It's been rewired, obviously, uh, but yeah, very tall and slender. See, tall and slender. Anyway, there's only that one, so I don't think I can deal with one. And I'm not gonna buy it, but I'll keep on looking around here. Bunch of old appliances. Not appliances, what am I trying to say? You know what I mean. Electrical thingy boobs, bobs, <laughs> not boobs. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I don't know what's wrong with my speech today. No. That probably has a turntable in it. Ooh, look at this. Kenmore buttonhole something. That looks very depression-y. Looks very 40s-ish. This is for a uh, sewing machine. Kenmore. What does it do? It makes buttonholes. Button, buttonhole. I wonder if that would be of value to anybody. Oh, I suppose probably. What a beautiful piece of Cambridge, Cambridge glass. Elegant depression. Yeah. It's $18. $18. But it's very pretty. I think I'll leave it here. Okie doke, it looks like these are probably a new Martinsville pattern. Very pretty. <laughs> I love the fact that they're actually not etched. Yeah. Double light candlesticks. And then here's a nice cobalt, uh, not cobalt blue. A nice mid-century blue color with an applied handle, hand, handle <laughs> and a rough pontal handle. Hantel and Gretel. <laughs> All right, too bad we didn't have that for the snow and ice sale the other night. And to add to my Miss America pattern collection for my little table setting, we're gonna do a video soon, I promise you, on how to tell the Miss America from the Anchor Hawking. And look at this, I'm sorry, the Miss America from the English Hobnail. Look at this really pretty decanter. Uh, leaded glass cut to clear, uh, beautifully done with uh, gilded highlights on it and a wonderful stopper. Probably Bohemian glass, this might be Mosier, not Mosser. There's a big difference between those two S's, right? Mosier with one S, Mosser with two S's. Don't get your two companies confused, we've talked about them before. Um, probably not that old, Some made within the last 40 years, this piece probably. But it's just absolutely beautiful. The condition is absolutely... A How many times can you say absolutely? I think I need to start this segment all over with. <laughs> oh boy. We'll just leave it. We'll let it go. And then... I find Tom and little Tom and Jerry cups... By uh, McKee... Those are the ones you usually find, yeah. They're the ones I usually find. I'd never find them made by Fire King and stamped with the uh, with the Anchor Hawking Fire King logo. I have to admit, I kind of prefer the Anchor the uh, McKee, but just this one, and it would have come with a punch cup, a punch bowl, and six to eight cups. Boy, you can tell I'd. Well, I don't rehearse anything, but I'm really tripping up today. For no reason, it's the two o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. Oh, I just got that one. The snowflakes are, are a little, I think it might be the design of the snowflakes that's putting me off. They're, 
they're highly stylized and they're looking more like sea creatures to me than snowflakes. That looks like a bunch of spatulas. I don't know. That looks like an, an ugly mushroom and that looks like some old spider from the sea. I think it's the shape of the snowflakes and the, the font maybe with the Tom and Jerry. It's just not doing it for me, me, but maybe it's doing it for you. Doing it and doing it and doing it. Wow. Okay, let me wrap all of this glass and then we'll go to the next store. All right, there it is. It's still here. No, not that. That. <laughs> Did you see this in a video about three weeks ago? This chair has actually been in here for quite some time and no one pays any attention to it. Except me. Mm-hmm. Ah. <sighs> Well, I want you to look, see, 20 bucks. I did rip the price tag off. So I guess it's going in the back of my truck and I hold all of you responsible. That's right, use guys. <laughs> Cause I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. And I love this trunk or not really trunk, but sort of like homemade big uh, blanket chest or toy chest, probably big blanket chest. All right. Uh, we'll look at that chair when it's in the back of my truck. What am I going to do with that chair? Okay, that beautiful chair is circa 1930, which means, <clears throat> excuse me, really 1925 to 1935. Something like that. It has its original upholstery in excellent condition. Original finish. That was a nice piece of furniture when it was new, and it is still... A very beautiful armchair uh, for the living room and I don't know where it's going to go <laughs> at the moment I have absolutely no place for that chair but I've been looking at it every single time I go to the store and at $20 it's just excellent it's very windy out here right now. So I hope you can hear me and not the wind. Okay, $20. What a find. Sorry for the funny angle of the camera. Because uh, very quickly, and then I have to split. Look, uh, what did I pay? $4.95 for some of the little hostess, little plat night pieces. Uh, this was for children and it's, it's a mixed lot. I'm not really sure what we've got in here. It doesn't look to be anything complete. And this is a plastic, uh, like Malmac bowl. Yeah. Mel, Melmac. Why do I always say Mal? M-E-L-M-A-C, Sun Valley. So that's, but that's what that is. And then I got a little, um, Fire King, uh, Phil, uh, Philby in Sapphire Blue, that was 95 cents, and then I couldn't resist this, although I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, um, I'll show it to you. Now this is an original cranberry label. Do you remember back in the 90s, it, it was a fad, they started reproducing all these old labels and everybody was decorating their kitchens with, old, with reproduction antique advertising it was a big thing um i'm not really one for decorating with antique advertising but this is an original that someone has placed on this paper i'll let you see it in a minute but it says eat more cranberries of new jersey um i don't know if you guys know this but new jersey is either the second or the third leading producer of cranberries it, new jersey uh-huh so go and look it up. We have a lot of blueberries here too. It's the sandy soil. So a lot of cranberries come from, in fact, there is a little town not far from here called Cranberry, New Jersey. I'll let you see it up close. Uh, and yes, that's an original label. And students of history are going to know you're going to know what happened at that exhibit. I'm going home because <laughs> I can't, I can't speak. 
you are going to know what happened at the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo in 1901. The poor thing was in the music building shaking hands and what happened? Pow! Poor old President McKinley was assassinated at that exhibition. So this was $2. I'm going to get it out of this awful sort of corrugated cardboard mat. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. A little bit of silverfish or something got into it there. But I love cranberries and I love New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And then that chair. I've got one more stop. It is getting close to... 4:30, and I've got to get my behind home because I've got to change my clothes and I'm going out tonight. So let's wrap this video up. Let's go to one more shop and then that'll be it. I'm so glad you're shopping with me. I'm having fun. I hope you are.